the Amish living in the modern world present a striking contrast. These people, who prefer a life without electricity and social media, are easily recognisable among the cars on American roads. Despite their adherence to old-fashioned customs, the Amish are not isolated from the rest of society. We decided to take a closer look at the Amish and learn how they blend their 19th century traditional lifestyle with modern technology. The Amish community is well known, partly due to numerous photographs of people in old-fashioned clothing riding horse-drawn buggies alongside cars on American roads. It is often believed that the Amish do not use technology or modern conveniences. They live by strict rules, are isolated from the broader society, prefer manual labor to machinery, and typically have around six children per family. There are over 300,000 Amish people worldwide, with most of their communities located in Canada and the United States. Each community may have its own set of rules and traditions. In Amish communities, cars are not used. However, they can be passengers in taxis, buses, trains, or in neighbors' cars who offer rides. This does not violate their traditions and allows members of closed communities to easily reach remote areas. The Amish can also hire outsiders for transporting community members or goods. However, they avoid airplanes, considering them too modern. Interestingly, bicycles are also banned among the Amish. Instead, they have found an alternative, in a type of transport that resembles a cross between a scooter and a bicycle. This mode of transport is very popular among the Amish and is likely the second most popular after horse-drawn buggies. Young people in particular can often be seen riding these scooters to school. These vehicles are called Amish scooters and they are manufactured by a specialized company run by the Amish themselves. They even sell their products online. The Amish taboo on electricity has become a symbol of their separation from the outside world. This limits the use of radios, televisions and household appliances. However, traditions and realities sometimes mix. While electricity is banned, autonomous batteries are permitted. Some communities use pneumatic or hydraulic motors for washing and sewing machines. Refrigerators, stoves, water heaters and lanterns used for lighting homes and buggies operate on gas. Interestingly, the Amish do not have strict guidelines about what should be included in their diet. Therefore, they are not opposed to enjoying, for example, a hamburger at Burger King. This sometimes surprises other cafe patrons, as do the horse-drawn buggies in the parking lots of such establishments. At Amish weddings, celery is traditionally placed in vases. This plant holds symbolic significance for their communities. Additionally, celery is added to dishes and used for decorating homes. Of course, the Amish grow their own celery. Rumspringa is an unusual period in the lives of the Amish that begins in adolescence. It offers young people the chance to make a significant choice, stay in the community or leave it and live differently. Imagine, young Amish can explore the world, try different lifestyles and even go on trips. In 2002, a documentary called Devil's Playground was made about this remarkable time. And later reality shows emerged where young Amish encounter life in bustling, technology-filled cities. Interestingly, if an Amish person during their rumspringer chooses a lifestyle that does not align with the community's standards, it does not completely close the door for them to return. They can always come back and be baptized, as if returning to their roots. However, if they leave the community again afterward, they face a sort of social exile. Other Amish will begin to avoid them. This can even affect their closest relationships. Everything depends on the traditions and customs of the specific community, creating a social barrier that is not easily crossed. Astonishingly, about 90% of Amish eventually return home and rejoin the church after their rumspringer period. The rest choose to live in the modern world. Take, for example, Kate Stoltz, one of the stars of the reality show Asterisk Breaking Amish, who decided to leave the community. Today, Kate is a successful model, designer, and television personality in New York City. And she is not alone. Another example is Colby Rasmus, who also left the Amish community to become a professional athlete. He now plays in Major League Baseball. Remaining in the community, the Amish cannot participate in such leagues. But that does not stop them from enjoying baseball, which is very popular among the youth. Boys and girls play it, 
even in traditional long skirts. Besides baseball, young Amish also enjoy volleyball and basketball, so their sporting spirit is very much alive. By the way, there's a fascinating scientific fact. Many Amish age more slowly than the average person. Scientists from Illinois discovered a genetic mutation in them that extends life by 10 years. This is just one of many mysteries associated with this unique community. But that's not all that makes the Amish interesting. They have traditions that might seem peculiar. For example, the dolls their children play with have no faces, no eyes, ears or mouth. This is due to their belief that demonic forces could inhabit such toys. It may seem superstitious, but for the Amish, it is an important part of their culture. Did you know that the majority of Amish live in Pennsylvania? In this state, there are just over 200 covered bridges remaining today, although there were about 1,500 in the 1800s. There are especially many in Lancaster County, where special tours are organized for tourists. These historical structures were built with roofs due to the availability of wood, which protected the bridges from rain and extended their lifespan. Despite their traditions, modern Amish are open to sharing their culture with tourists. Some run online souvenir shops, others offer buggy rides or overnight stays in their homes. This allows people to get a closer look at their way of life and understand how they maintain a balance between old customs and modernity. But none of this would be complete without mentioning the asterisk Ordnung asterisk, the set of rules that plays a crucial role in Amish life. It prohibits wearing jewelry and precious items. Therefore, they do not even wear wedding rings and young women do not use cosmetics. After marriage, women stop cutting their hair, twist it into a bun and cover it with a bonnet. Hair is not supposed to be a source of pride, so compliments are not given and it always remains covered. Thus, the Amish remain true to their traditions while not completely closing themselves off from the outside world, maintaining a unique balance between old customs and modernity. This is what makes their culture so fascinating and special to study.